Next, EDR. Oh. Bill, EDR. Employee dining room. That sounds nice. What? Yeah. We shall oh, have you, one. You're into that? Yeah. A dining room? I'm into it? Yes. <laughs> I'm into employee dining rooms. Oh, hello. Welcome to season two of I Bought You Didn't Know, the show where our contestants prove what they think they know, and if they don't know, they don't go home. I'm Mike Barmundi, Product Marketing Manager for AI Network and Security here at Nutanix. Today's topic on I Bought You Didn't Know is data security. Why does it keep you up at night? Should you be up at night? And why is it security that's keeping you up? We're gonna find out today with today's amazing guests. Let's jump into it. With us is the ever-talented and always bright, Sneha Chatterverdula. Welcome, thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Mike. Sneha is a product marketing manager for business continuity and disaster recovery. And you're forgetting the main reason I'm here today. I also cover data security. Oh, yeah. he's not very good at this. I can tell. Also with us is our reoccurring guest from before, Bill Parks. Hello, Bill. Hi. Bill is a marketing generalist and all around human. Correction, I do cover AHV, Mike. Oh yes, he does, he, he covers Nutanix AHV. Well, thank you for both being here. Bill has to be here because he stayed. <laughs> With that, let's jump into the show topic, which is, thank you, data security, an amazing way for us to discuss the evolution of how security is affecting all of us. It will be really fun. And With that, let's jump into the categories. Today's categories are legit or not, succinctly succinct, acronym speedfire, wildcard, and cert and lean. Sneha, you're up. You have the board. Go ahead and choose. Where are we going? All right. I am super excited. Um, let's start in the middle. We'll do succinctly succinct for two. So Sneha, the question is succinctly talk about how comprehensive data insights are necessary. Oh, comprehensive data insights give you visibility into what your users are doing, how your data is being accessed, where it's being accessed from. All of this insight gives you details on where your vulnerabilities are, mm. right? And basically this helps you mitigate risk ahead of time before any kind of attacks happen. That's Bill, it. anything to add? Yeah, I mean, there's value to that data, right? Understanding yeah. how valuable the data is, where it's exposed. Mm. Wow. Succinctly, su no, <laughs> we're, we're, we're not even gonna do that because I know how hard you have with that term. But for that, I think we're going to split the points on that. That was great. I think Thank we should you. get a point. This is a first. Yeah. first we're going to get split. you out of here today. Oh. Maybe not today. Oh, I need okay. to get out of here you, today. I have plans. She is an ally in this yeah. game. Well, <laughs> I, we, we, we will see. I mean, I have hope. With that hope, hmm. Bill, why don't you take a stab at the board? It's one to one. Go wherever you'd like. I'll do uh, three. Um, three what, Bill? All right, Bill, I'll pick for you. Let's do legit or not for three. That'll is that, do. Is that, That'll do. Okay. Well, I'm going to take away a point just because I had to walk through that. You're used to that. So legit or not for three, Bill and Sneha, you must prioritize security for both storage performance and data management. Legit or nah? Legit. Bill, go ahead. Legit. Huh? Oh, that's... Smart tiering, Bramandi. Look at him just throwing keywords out there. I uh -huh. love it. Is, what, that doesn't... Sounds fake. Did no. you come up with that? A little bit. You have something on this? Okay, I'm, I'm okay. going to elaborate. Bill, Bill oh. knows exactly what he's talking about here. Boom. Exactly. So smart tiering, basically, um, with regards to Nutanix Data Lens, which is our data security mm. solution, um, essentially it bucketizes your data into hot, cold, and warm data. And let me get into this briefly. So hot data is what you access a lot. Okay. Warm data, it's there. You access it occasionally. Okay. And then cold data is data that it's just there for like usually archival purposes and you're not accessing it regularly, which means there's a higher chance of vulnerabilities if they're, if it's not accounted for. Could we put Barmundi in the cold data bucket? Yes, we'll fill it with ice. Rarely accessed. Yeah. Back to the ice bucket challenge. I don't do that thing. <laughs> okay, um, that, that's a great answer. I mean, again, I think we can, we can split this a little bit. Yeah. You can't split all the points, Barmondi. Yeah, but it's you okay, can I'll take answer. them all.
go, okay, fine. Mm. Sneha gets all? three. I'm taking them all. Mm. And we'll take the one I took away. So Sneha, you got five. Bill, you've got a goose egg. Beautiful. Mm. Lovely. Speaking of beautiful, let's get back to the board and it's all yours, Sneha. Go ahead and choose. Oh. All right, I will do legit or not nah for one. With that, legit or not nah for one, let's dive into it, Sneha and Bill. You only need to consider ransomware and insider threats for your security strategy. Legit or not? Nah. Hell nah. Hell nah. <laughs> Wow, that was a, a strong response. I yes. I like that, but I'm very intrigued. Sneha, why don't you dig it? Tell us why. Okay, so ransomware and insider threats are only a part of the problem. So we okay. have other cyber attacks, um, such as phishing. We have malware attacks. We also have exactly that kind of phishing. And then we also have zero-day threats that we need to be aware of. And these are threats that we don't know how to fight yet, and they pop up on a daily basis that we need to be conscious of. Right, so um, to be honest, you hear so much about ransomware because it's on the rise, and there's over one billion dollars of ransomware payments in 2023 alone. You know what ransomware is? Do you know what ransomware is? Yeah, remember, do you? Remember in, in, in like middle school when the bully would steal your lunch money and wouldn't give it back to you? That was ransom. Yeah. Where? Thank you. Where? For that. Where? For that <laughs> open wound that is now here. So. Feels like a tag team of brutality, but let's, that's fine. I, you know, I really liked your answer. I, I think I'm going to award you the point for that one. I mean, Bill, Bill helped with the with the hell nah as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's give you one. I think it's six to zero. Bill, you're you're really uh, needing something here. I'm going to give you the board. Where are we going next? Live, laugh, love, Mike. Let's do um, legit or nah for two. Legit or nah. Mm -hmm. Data insights are only useful for identifying threats. Legit or nah. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Romani, Another just think of AI ML workloads. Just start there. Sneha, can you please smooth this over? Yes. Um, so with AI ML workloads, right, especially with testing data, um, it's important to understand user behavior and user access to data, um, as well as permission monitoring, right? Like you want to make sure that you restrict access to people who shouldn't have the data versus who should. Mm. And then furthermore, um, with data insights that have inbuilt risk um, monitoring and risk scoring, you're able to see how vulnerabilities have increased or decreased over time based on user access. Bill, you participated well. I'm going to give you each a point. Okay, uh, Bill, with that, it's your board. Go ahead and choose next. Bill, you have the board. I am, I am bored. Right. I'm going to choose for you. Let's go to acronym Speedfire. Oof. How does that sound? Acrobat Hustle. N not the not alphabet the, hustle. Not the alphabet. That's <laughs> that's actually correct. That an huh? acronym Speedfire is an alphabet. I get hustle. a point. I, okay. I'm just scavenging for points right I, now. I know. So I can I tell you whatever I can do. You really clean up. I mean, Sneha, do you want to choose a point value for acronym Speedfire, and we'll go from there? Sure. Three. Three. Okay. <laughs> acronym Speedfire for three. Bill, we'll start with you. APT. Adaptive Protective Technologies. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to go with Advanced Persistent Threat. Yep. Sneha, you got that one. Next, EDR. Uh -huh. Bill, EDR. Employee Dining Room. That sounds nice. What? Yeah. We shall oh, have you, one. You're into that? Yeah. A dining Room? I'm into it? Yes. <laughs> I'm into Employee Dining Rooms. Why don't you take a stab at that, Sneha? EDR. So it's going to be endpoint detection and response. Mm. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Correct. Next, UEBA. Oh. Sneha. Amoeba. Um, it's going to be user entity behavioral analytics. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Okay. So these acronyms, APT, EDR, UEBA, they seem to have some kind of connection. It sounds like you maybe have an idea of how this connects to data security. Yes, so all I'm going to say is Nutanix Data Lens. Nutanix Data Lens is our active defense ransomware technology that proactively detects and blocks ransomware threats before they attack your data. So which means that we're stopping them in their tracks. And we've talked about how endpoint recovery, endpoint response is an option for our customers. But with Data Lens, it is proactive in nature, which means it's not about recovery. It's not about data recovery, and it's not just about protecting your endpoints. It's about at the data level. Hmm. And furthermore, Data Lens has built-in data visibility to help you gauge against insider threats and make sure you know what exactly is happening with your unstructured data. Right. Excellent answer. 
Well done for that. I'm going to award you three points. It <laughs> Thank is now you. 10 to 1. And with that, I think it's time for the final bot. <laughs> Let me explain to you both how the final bot works. You'll be given one question to determine all the points, including what your point totals are now. Sneha, you have 10. Bill, you have one. The winner will be chosen by me. The winner gets to go home. The loser gets to stay here. With that, let's get into the final bot. What is the top misconception around data security that you need to be considerate of? Sneha, why don't you take a stab at that one? Yeah, so ransomware recovery is not the same as ransomware protection. And I think this is the distinction we need to make because a lot of organizations have ransomware recovery solutions, so disaster recovery solutions. Mm. But you also need proactive defense against ransomware. And that is exactly what Data Lens offers at the data level and Nutanix offers at a holistic security perspective. We want to make sure ransomware is protected and blocked at every level and ultimately, at the data level, we want to make sure that there's no penetration of um, malicious actors. OK, Bill. Um, that was a great answer by Sneha. Do you have anything to add to that? It's 10 to 1. You get all the points. Ask about my dog. I... Where did the dog go? He's gone. What about um, data security? Do you have any things about misconceptions? Uh, it's investments. I mean, that's investments. No matter the size, Barmandi Shuko, or a large Fortune 500 company, you have to make the investments. Investments? That's mm -hmm. your additive answer? Yeah. OK. She knows what I'm saying. I know. I got you. Bill, I'm going to start with you. You did had excellent answers this time. You really did. I'm very mm -hmm. proud of you. Good job. Thank I'm going to award you an extra 30 points on top of what you already have. Boom. Bill is now in the lead. Oh my god. <laughs> I will say, though, Sneha, your answers were incredible. Mm. Thank Succinct, you. Succinct. Well informed, I'm going to award you 65 points. Sneha, yes. congratulations, what? you win. Thank you. Bill, it was a valiant effort, uh, but I just. It's okay, you tried. You tried. I did it's try, okay. thank you. <laughs> well, Sneha, the good news is you get to go home. Beautiful. Bill, right there. Night. Okay, with that, thank you both for coming. And thanks to all of you out there. This was a great episode of I Bought You Didn't Know on Data Security. Please like and subscribe and comment down below. We want to hear from you. We want to hear about your ideas and how we can create better content that you're going to watch. We'll see you next time on I Bought You Didn't Know.